Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is Sait Piyush Mishra, currently pursuing my Bachelor's of Technology in Computer Science and Engineering from Bundel Khan University, Jhansi. And these are the slides that I maintained for Mentorship Showcase 2023. Uh, I came uh, from, uh, I basically belong from Android development uh, and uh, I have worked on open source development too and uh, started working with the Linux environment a year ago for continuing my Android development. Uh, Linux kernel bug fixing project was my product, uh, project under uh, uh, Linux Foundation, uh, Fall and Paid 2022, that, uh, that I was enrolled in. And the topics I am going to cover will be virtualization, syscaller, sysbot, sending patches, kernel mailing list. So entire debugging program, uh, entire debugging profile was completely new for me. I maintained my Linux uh, build environment from sites like Linux uh, from scratch.org. Uh, but uh, debugging was really a, a typical matter. So kernel bug fixing the messenger and fixing the issues in the procedure. As we all know that kernel acts like uh, the messenger between the software and hardware level interfaces. And uh, why do we have bugs? We have bugs to uh, make sure that uh, to bugs tell us that uh, there is something that needs to be improved. So, uh, as a, of a effective operating system, uh, as of a no, effective operating system, uh, simple and powerful, Linux uh, was the operating system that I chose to work upon and uh, compatible with uh, Android 2, as Android is based upon Linux architecture, Linux kernel. Uh, how it starts. So I started with the open source development and working with the Linux environment. Then I go, I've gone through Linux from scratch dot org, uh, some half build or working procedure. Uh, I built a uh, half built uh, build environment and I completely built a Linux uh, kernel. Uh, completely built a bootable kernel which could be booted using Kim. So these are the development environment that I have gone through. The major challenges in this mentorship was understanding the tasks uh, was a major deal as you have to get what you have to do. Then you have to search what you have to do or you have to ask what you have to do. Uh, starting with the mainline source, working with, working with mainline, uh, compiling and booting it. And then working with the syscaller, working with the sysbot uh, dashboard for actively looking into the bugs and how they could be improved uh, was a major task for uh, me. Understanding the kernel.org logs, uh, building the key foundation resources for uh, debugging the kernel. Finding resources is also a major task in this mentorship as you have to actively look upon the web uh, for uh, resources that you could collect or uh, you cannot further proceed in that procedure. Uh, virtualization, the life and time saver. As uh, uh, if you don't want to uh, spoil your machine, main cold boot machine, uh, then you can build the uh, kernel upon the Kimu uh, using VirtualBox or GDB uh, techniques. Booting uh, the compiled kernel with Kimu and using GDB and build root. Uh, so there was a task of mine uh, that I have to define fuzzing. Fuzzing is uh, simply executing a program over a point with the different inputs to uh, break the program in order to fix it, uh, in order to detect bugs. Stack trace uh, was there. Uh, we have to use decode stack trace.sh script to, for finding the PIDs and for uh, finding the processes that go upon while the kernel is booting. Syscaller and Sysbot are debuggers too. Tool. While working with the Syscaller tools, a Syscaller is actually maintained by Google and Sysbot is the dashboard where uh, you get uh, about the bugs online that uh, gives you about uh, the critical level of bugs that uh, are listed upon Sysbot dashboard. So in all the procedures, the most effective tools were came. As I have told before, it prevents you from uh, using your main machine uh, as uh, the code you are entering or debugging procedures you are going through can break the machine and uh, counter the chances of exploiting the machine. 
sending patches uh, email sending was the major uh, uh, task enrolled in this program uh, as sending emails uh, <coughs> is the way of uh, sharing what uh, you have done upon the kernel with the other developers uh, being the biggest development environment uh, this is the most active form of communication between the developers uh, my work that i did in this mentorship program was to create patches and uh, create patches generate patches and actively look for what other uh, bugs that could be resolved as it was completely new for me i created patches and uh, submitted as of uh, my task to my mentor uh, and uh, i get used to with the check patch.pl script and various other scripts too in the meantime i came in knowledge uh, actually this was a bug uh, kaisen uh, that kaisen reported in september uh, that was a uh, reserve sfa size so uh, uh, rearranging the flow action size or there was just a bit manipulation with uh, the code uh, that fixed the bug so it was a minor change that uh, saved the day and i learned about that it was not fixed by me but uh, i learned about uh, how we can get into uh, debugging while we are working with the kernel uh, kernel mailing list uh the kernel mailing list is uh, an actually is actually the uh, an important task as uh, uh, kernel mailing list keeps you updated about updated about uh, what active bugs are being found or what active bugs need to be resolved so i also came with up with other bugs that i found it Uh, i also came up with other bugs please wait a second yeah so these were the four bugs that were resolved earlier and i came up with the reference that uh, what these bugs were capable of and uh, uh, actually these bugs were fixed these were eva stopping uh, bugs that were used for active communication breaching uh, in android and fixed in october 2021 patch uh, later these bugs were also fixed in updates about uh, android 12 and uh, are confirmed uh, to be uh, fixed in android 13 updates as well so these bugs were fixed and learning about how bugs uh, work uh, learning about uh, what impact that uh, they can make or uh, this was my mentorship experience with the linux foundation so thank uh, thank you everyone so thank you everyone again uh, as we all have bugs and we all fix them so thanks again uh, to linux foundation my peers my mentors and everyone thank you